Hello everybody, a very good morning to all of you. My dear students, in the previous lecture, we studied how to find the simple interest and amount. And now, today, we will study how can you find principal rate and time. So, the formula to find simple interest is SI equal to P into R into T upon 100 and amount is equal to principal plus SI. Now, on cross multiplication, we get the three formulas. So, the formula for to find out the principal is SI into 100 upon R into T. The formula to find the rate is SI into 100 upon P into T. And the formula to find the time is T equal to SI into 100 upon P into R. So, question 1. What will be the sum of money which yields an interest of rupees 720 at 2% for 3 years? Here, the simple interest is given 720 rupees. Rate 2%, time 3 years. We have to find out the principal. So, the formula of principal is P is equal to SI into 200 upon R into D. So, <coughs> putting the values, we get 720 into 100 upon 2 into 3. So, 720 into 100 is 72,000 and 2, 3 is 6. On dividing this 72,000 by 6, we get 12,000. So, the principal is 12,000. Now, in the second question, Find the rate of interest per annum at which a person borrowed a sum of rupees 10,500 whose interest is rupees 840 for 2 years. Now, in this question, we are given principal 10,500 times 2 years and simple interest rupees 840. We have to find out the rate. So, the formula of rate is R equal to 100 into SI upon P into T. So, putting all the values, we get 100 into 840, SI is 840 upon principal is 10,500, time is 2 years. On cancelling these zeros and dividing 840 by 105, we get 8. So, 8 upon 2, on dividing further, we get 4%. So, rate is 4%. Now, question number 3. In how much time will rupees 7,000 given interest of rupees 1470 at 12% per annum? Now, the principal is 7000 rupees SI, that is simple interest is 1470, rate is 12%, we have to find out the time. So, formula of time is this, T equal to SI into 100 upon P into R, on putting the values, we get 1470 into 100 upon 7000 into 12, on dividing the zeros, on cancelling zeros and dividing 147 by 7, we get 21. So, 21 upon this 12. So on further dividing by 3, we get 7 by 4. So, we get 1 whole 3 by 4 years. Time is 1 whole 3 by 4 years. So, my dear students, today we have studied how to find out the principal rate and time. I hope you have understood everything. Thank you very much.